Hello everyone, my name is Hector Doomhammer and welcome back to some more Rise of the Reds. Today I am joined on TeamSpeak by Mr. The Hunter. Hello folks. And just a little clarification here, I am very serious about my threats of saying the next person started to talk about uh, release dates will get a purge. Be it a joke, be it not. No more talks about the release dates. Okay. okay. Yep. Right, we are going to be starting off on, and I have a beautiful, beautiful map pool available here. I talked to uh, Gazalis about the possibilities for a map pool. I think I will go with. We haven't done this map in a while. Keep off the grass. Okay. Yes, observe that. There we go. Right, everyone, everyone is ready? Is ready. Smashing. Ping the chat. There we go. Everyone is loaded. Smashing. Right, so we see Dutchy Gamer with ECA, Eka, versus Kratos in the 40 bomb trucks. <laughs> Hello, Estado. Et Sato. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Smashing. I've actually never noticed all the paths. No wonder you call it keep, it, keep off the grass. <laughs> It's Dutchy. actually a remake of a, uh, of a Red Alert 1 map, uh, actually. Really? <coughs> oh. I don't remember yep. that much of Red Alert 1, to be honest, so uh, I would not know. I'm seeing Dutchy move out with an excavator all the way to the uh, west over here. Probably gonna go for the uh, uh, supplies and the artillery platform there. There's also some supplies and artillery platform in the northeast. That he hasn't gone for just yet. Immediately building the decks. Well, Xanus seems to be making a couple of rebels. Where's the excavator going? Oh, he's actually building a barracks over here at the oil derrick first. Now he's going for the uh, supplies. There you go. I'm seeing some movements over here. We've got a soul worker. He's going to go for the uh, supplies over here. <laughs> yeah, I also just saw an observation van which uh, got quickly got uh, destroyed by the cheetah. Okay, and I'm seeing an excavator move to the north as well. Unfortunately, I think that uh, unless that is going to make like a, a guard tower. That it all depends on what kind of building that worker is going to build first, or what the excavator True. is going to build. True. And I'm just going to be stirring my coffee for a brief moment, sorry about that, for not uh, having my hands on the mouse and keyboard. Sardis is actually not building anything with the worker and the excavator has arrived on the same time. Yep. Now he's building a supply, supply tunnel stack. and he's building a <laughs> barracks. Would have right. been better if he focused building a, uh, a, what's it called? Guard tower. Uh, a guard tower first, yes. yes. I'm seeing a technical well, move from the middle. I'm seeing a technical move from the middle over here. Yeah, multiple of them even. Yes, but ah, now they're coming. With some rebels, I'm guessing. Oh. Mm -hmm. He did manage to build a fortification, fortification. but and I think it's too late. No? He did manage to garrison it, but it's yeah, too late yeah, to too actually late, make a late. real difference, I think. Too late. Well, too late, uh, Dutchy. I think he's gonna try crushing a couple of the infantry, maybe. No, not really. Okay. Yeah, that's that. That's too many technicals. There's no <laughs> point in trying anymore. Yeah, he's selling out. He knows that this is uh, a lost cause here. 
Especially with uh, Xanus now capturing the uh, artillery platform. Although that engineer might have something else to say. Nope. Was spotted. Nope. <laughs> D -d Denied. Denied. Xanus is capturing the oil, Derek. Uh, not yet the repair bay, but I do see a tunnel network over there. And some Panzer Fausts. And uh, felines, as Crimson would call it. Mm hmm. Yes. But yeah, I think a, a, a guard tower early, uh, right up there before the barracks would have been a smarter move. Seeing some fortifications here in the uh, southwest that are gonna get garrisoned, or is he gonna sell them? Or upgrade them? What is he gonna do? Uh, he's uh, actually upgrading them into fortified or reinforced fortifications, oh, yeah. which cannot be cleared by toxin tractors and such. Well, everything is an oil derrick, you know that. Destroy his CEO. Oh wait, that's a different mod. <laughs> Infantry down here did get killed, though. And there are some supplies here, and probably some supplies there. No, Xadis is going for the repair bay as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Which Tier what is up? Enough, actually uh, stacks with the junk repair upgrade that the GLA have, so... Alright, cool. So that's uh, the faster healing. Both players at tier 1, we've got the uh, black market here, we've got the uh, solar uh, plant over here. And the question is, what is that she gonna do? He's gonna go for a reinforcement or a deployment zone over here. Hey Dark Within, how are you doing? Got a uh, field command over here in the southwest as well. What is going on here in the north? Just a douchebag nest, artillery platform which was captured, and a supply stash tunnel. And I'm thinking that if Dutchie, you know, has something to attack it with, then he could take that over easily. Because there's not even a. Uh, oh, of course, the supply stash tunnel. Sorry. Brain is a bit derpy today. You already asked a question, giveaway, by asking if you can ask a question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Asaurus just said, you just did, but go on. <laughs> People seem to like the douchebag nest. Hey, we got a vehicle assembly depot here in the southeast, or southwest. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Technicals are trying to make a move, but they run into the guard tower. Yep. Which almost killed one of them. In 2.0, will we be forced to uh, choose the general? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. It's going to be, from what I understand, it's going to be going back to the uh, way generals was originally. It with like was intended you have to, to be actually. Yeah. It actually never made it into that way. In Zero Hour, they kind of did, but you actually selected your factions beforehand in the same way you selected countries in uh, Red Alert 2, for instance. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see who's still Although, with our system, over you here. would actually select your general or your sub faction in game, so you would select. That's one for Mercs, your... actually. Looking did up he? here. Yeah, he did. Just got some Mercs oh, yeah, at did. the uh, the thing over here. Yep. Yeah, I see that. And also, Jared McKill is already on the field. And I think the, the field, com field command can only make Warhounds, right? Uh, warhounds That's and a bunch it. of other support units. Support units, okay. Yeah, not so not the actual uh, uh, Leopard, Jeopard, uh, Yacht No, no, Robert, it can only make a bunch of support units like the Sensor Array, uh, Mole Mine Layers, and... Um, also the munition tracks. Okay, cool. And hey Dakey Dake, how you doing buddy? So yeah, mer mercenaries. Awesome. Oh, and there's a uh, little confrontation. Well, yes. yeah. Seems to be a little confrontation over here in the uh, central south area. All the mercenaries yeah, are there. Pioneers uh, attempted to make a move or attempted to bombard that particular uh, yep, area. Yep, pioneer. 
although the Merc Grenadiers are trying to make a move as well with their grenade launchers. Yep. Their noise is filthy. Mm -hmm. Well, the Common Pioneers aren't that accurate. Well, the last couple of shots were. Well, now they're digging yeah, some they, holes. They just made themselves uh, little fortifications. What is your best unit to attack the enemy with, Hunter? Just in everything, in all the factions that is currently available, what is your best unit, your Man favorite the Manticore. unit? Manticore. Manticore? <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah, the Manticore. I mean, that thing is practically invulnerable unless you, uh, you know, unload excessive amounts of firepower on it at once. Ah, coffee. That is my favorite weapon. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know what my favorite weapon is. I think the Sentinel. If you were to ask Banisher, it would be behind, of course. Yeah, obviously. Oh, well, we've got a Bloodhound in the air. Yeah, going to uh, help in stealth detection there, obviously. Yep. Research Center is up for uh, Dutchie. Also, another vehicle assembly depot. We see some. Uh, Fanders over here, a lot of fanders over here. Being loaded up with Panzerfaust, Grenadiers maybe? Or just Panzerfaust? The felines. He's loading them up for sure. Seems to be pa uh, uh, two Grenadiers and two Panzerfaust thus far. Okay. Still an engineer down here. No vehicle uh, production over here in the uh, east, in the west though. Little. Uh, Bloodhound has just been shot out of the air by German Kell. Oh boy. <laughs> Which of the five star abilities for the five factions is the most powerful? Is uh, Luda is asking that one. Yeah, I think if you're raw, in pure raw destructive power, I would say the FOAB. Yeah. Well, I should have gone kill. Well, there goes the repair bay. No more double repair for uh, Xanus then. Mm -hmm. Technicals are moving out. Seeing some stuff over here. Oh, it seems that uh, chemical lab. Oh, all the way out in front. As well as the supplies test on gathering the uh, supplies over here. Xanus captured the oil derrick in the north central part. That she captured the one in the south central part. Although he didn't garrison the bunker over here. And it seems that uh, that she's absolutely doing nothing with this part. But I'm seeing uh, a large blob indeed over here. Oh, tunnel network uh, gonna get built just at the Dutchie's doorstep. If he's observed, there's he a couple can... of recyclers behind there as well. I'm guessing oh, that he's I trying. That. Uh, he might want to try to go for one of those panders. Maybe. Well, he's gonna go for his uh, tier two economy uh, overgrowth. Doing that as we speak. Just finished the uh, telecom relay. Oh, mercenaries are firing. are making another move on the middle uh, yep. outpost. There you go. Hi, Andre. Oh. This game, this mod isn't really about long games and steamrolling. It's just you know the player's style. Some people are really good being super aggressive with like barely any units at all, and other people thrive at like blood foo as uh, Dutchie likes to call it. And he just secured himself one of those panders, and he's immediately going for it. Yep. Here comes the cheetah. And he picked it up with one of the scorpions, I think, by accident. Hello? No, Hello? he picked it up with one of the scorpions by accident. That was. <laughs> okay, but the animation for the recycler was still playing, by the way. 
Yeah, it does, but that actually doesn't actually sit there. You can actually also use that on open ground. Oh, it doesn't yeah. actually do anything in such a case. Okay. But meanwhile, uh, he did actually kite all the scorpions out, so they're all dead. So now he has an advantage, and he also has a repair pounder among that group. That is very useful. And the recycler? Yeah, still doesn't have it. Cool. Okay, so where is that tunnel then? Well, you're directly on top of it. Whoa, what the hell happened here? That's what I am wondering about, actually. What? Okay, what the hell happened here? But look at all that tier I have crap. no. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, that's like that. Yeah, that's possible. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, the effects weren't displaying properly. However, the tunnel defenders, when upgraded with the, uh, with, with, uh, when you upgrade them with a certain upgrade that they have, they will, uh, you know, blow themselves up when they when you drive over them. Okay. Well, that's exactly probably what, what killed. Yeah, yeah, that's what probably killed the panders. I was really confused for a second as well. Oh, well, hey, poetic daggers, how you doing? Earth Doobie, I'm not even playing. <laughs> well, more panders for uh, Dutchy then. Let's see what? Whoa, that's a lot of scorpions over here. Yeah, Xadis likes the scorpion tanks. I guess we're gonna feel some winds of change. You probably didn't get it. I nope. did not know. I was actually paying attention to the game. Oh, yeah. German Kel picking off, uh, picked up some single infantry and. Uh, yep. I think German Kel was killed. <laughs> Xadis is trying to do the trick with the t RPG the defenders again. Oh! <laughs> successfully doing so! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Although it didn't kill them this time, so it'll probably get repaired again. Yeah. And he just got that other one detected by the helicopter there. Yep. Someone is saying that the Venom should be renamed into the Odin. Nah. Now we already have. Uh, Something named after something out of the Norse mythology. That's the Fenris. Also the Wotan. And the Wotan. Well, that's more German. No, no. Still the same name. So, or it's, it's referring to the same god, as anyway. Yeah. Or deity, whatever you want to call it. Indeed. Rocket buggy's over here. Wow, that's a nice yeah, little now he's capability. Now he's capable of getting that salvage. Yeah, now he should be he able to screw do it that. up again. Yeah. Because the tunnel's right in front of there, there's no reason why you shouldn't try. Uh -huh. Unless that uh, tree suddenly becomes a tank. And uh, what? 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 <laughs> Wrong game! <laughs> Wrong, game. <laughs> Wrong game! Wrong yeah, game, sorry. We don't have Mirage tanks here. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's going for it. He's gonna get grab the yep. uh, tier 1 scrap. There you go, he's got he it. He got it. Yeah, baby, he got it. Let's not go there. <laughs> Ryana Martin, welcome. Wow, <laughs> that was shot to pieces within no time. That's a grenadier. Inside of the defender, the, yes. The defender. Definitely. Hi Bruce, how you doing buddy? You gonna be playing today? Oh boy. Sadis putting the hurt on it. Oh, Solar Burst by the way. Where, where, where? Probably down here. I think he built it, oh he built it as his expansion yeah, in the down here. Uh, south, uh, southwest. Right over there. Started to uh, fortify that position as well. Uh, people still talking about Doom Guy and Duke Nukem in the chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they will actually be in the release, but you will not be able to access them by normal means. If you want to play around with them, you have to put them in your map editor or in a, on a map or something like that. Yep. Or multi-game. 
if you think you're up to it. Uh -huh. Whoa, a lot of rocket buggies uh, on the uh, base over here. Although, I don't think he's used uh, the upgrade on the recyclers themselves yet. He has actually on one of them. What of like them? Like right, right under the tunnel on the tree that you mentioned uh, earlier. Oh, it's, it's literally the, the one I have selected. <laughs> yep. And now all four of them are. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, though, that you should probably get some snipers actually to kill those buggies. Yeah, that would be useful. Or uh, tear gas grenades, that would be useful as well, or just tear gas in general. I think German is moving close to the base, yeah. Yeah, to spot targets, really. Probably. And a bulldog just popped out of nowhere to screw up everything. Yep. Money check was asked by Sneak, so here we go. Uh, Dutch Gamer sitting at around 2800, uh, 3000 at the moment. Are you getting fast? And Xadis is floating at uh, 32,000. Wow. Lots of money. <laughs> the Grenadiers just wiped out that Bulldog turret in yep. one single strike. The people say that the Recyclers are OP on the forums, I noticed. Yeah, I saw that, but that they, they were judging that from the last week's game where they uh, quickly the destroyed uh, Banisher's base. Yeah, the, Banisher the was also not, not playing on his, uh, on his best level because he was playing ECA for like one of the first times, I believe. Yeah. It's in a competitive game. And um, somebody else made a, a pretty accurate comment, like if he, if he had like an equal amount of new cannons from Stiles or any other artillery for that matter, it would have ended equally quickly. Yeah. Now where's the... Uh Insurrection mob. Oh, what's this? this Bart Bob. Boom. Boom, and that's the Mercs all dead. Nice. Nice one. Here's the uh, Insurrection mob. Laying down the hurt. to beat the region command, though. Nope. Both players are floating in an insanely amount of money, actually. So yeah, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, because Dutchy wasn't. Yeah, 45,000. <laughs> and even the uh, solar reactor is garrisoned. Yeah, oh, it has bunkers toxin. on it, but it will, not, it will not last. Nope. If you had Panzerfaust in there, it would, but... Yes, Valley Rifleman, nope. There it goes. Oh, 24 seconds before the uh, solar burst was ready. We also have a uh, scout launcher. Oh, and we've got a uh, command drop over here. Commando command drop. drop. Yeah, in the uh, Xatis' base. Oh, I see now, yes. Right Is next to all the mercs. <laughs> yes. But where's the... Uh, s the oh, the scout storm is also in the expansion. <laughs> In the northeast expansion, for those that were uh, looking. Scorpion's taking care of the uh, middle expansion over here. <laughs> you actually hear some uh, some people coughing in the game. Well, there goes the barracks soon. But the mortar pit deactivated, the watchtower deactivated. And uh, Dutchy now rebuilding his uh, solar plant in the expansion over here. I think that's going to be like the most of his base now. Power's back up and running. 21 seconds left before the solar burst is activated. Dutchy, please be so kind as to uh, show where you're going to pop it. Put it. My bet would be on the tanks in front of his base. Uh, we'll be Something smart. Something else, I don't know, but we will, we will find out. In 3, 2, 1. And it's done. Come on. I don't Be think he's going to use it immediately. I don't think so either. Meanwhile, Dutch is still being an annoyance in uh, <laughs> Sadus' base. Yeah, I'm hearing something shoot. 
Oh, probably over yeah, here. Yeah, that's the that, that's the silent weapons of the commandos, which are like right next to the uh, the scorpion tanks that are coming out of the tunnel. Now he's placing a bunch of bombs again. Oh, over here. Gotcha. Yeah, moving away. There you go. This Rexham mob is uh, continuing to assault the base over here. Oh, no. Oh, the commandos have been spotted. Tiger's taking care of the uh, insurrection mob over here, alongside the still constant bounce. Yeah, although once they get spotted by Jarman, they're going to be in a problem though. Yeah. Commandos are dead. Not without doing so much damage. I mean, uh, that was the black market that got destroyed. Mm -hmm. But if you take that out, that... Am I correct in saying that if you take oh! out... <laughs> Jarman kill took out two tigers with one shot. I saw that, as it happened. Solar Burst is still ready, and the Scudstorm is almost ready. Uh, the Insurrection Mob is taking out the infantry as they come out of the barracks over here. Scudstorm almost ready. Not a Tiger in the air. But German Kill is right there. And, and he takes out the other, like, up, the other uh, Tiger. There you go. Taking out the tier 2 economy over here. Meanwhile, Dutch is already rebuilding in the other area. Yeah. We just finished building up a new region command. I'm seeing. Oh! Scudstorm is being fired. It's being launched. There you go. I have no doubt uh, where it's gonna go. It's probably gonna go into his expansion. Sneak attack tunnel over there. Probably. Or it's going to finish off the base itself. Nope. It's coming into the expansion. There you go. Burst. And the solar burst on the uh, Scott Storm as well. But the GLH holds remains, still so remains. Be... Yes. Tigers were shot down out of the air. And that is the last of Dutchie's base down here in the southeast. Except for these three defenses. There's also a tunnel network over there, by the way. Ooh, that definitely put a damper on the uh, Dutchie's base here. Let's have a look at the money again. Dutchie at 14,000. Satis at 50,000. And moving closer to the expansion over here. And there goes the last mortar pit. <laughs> but not before still firing some uh, one mortar shell into the insurrection mob and killing off some stuff. Mm -hmm. That's she rebuilding over here. So vehicle assembly depot and barracks. They did lose his tier two entirely. Another <laughs> that she just deployed another uh, commando drop there and he killed off a mob. Where? Like right underneath Sadus' base, actually, where the uh, Scorpion tanks are gathering now. Ah, yeah, I see him. With the Fennec and the Commandos, of course. And the Fennec, obviously, using a canister cannon, actually can manage oh, yeah. to kill quite a few of the infantry that came out of the barracks. Uh -huh. Right upper corner. What's wrong? Oh! Look at this. Thank you, Sneak. Seems that the Scudstorm is gone with just a uh, sneak attack tunnel uh, being left there. And everything I else is gone, too. Yes. Thank you. I see also see a lot of recyclers with the uh, quad mount. Yep. That's definitely going to be a lot of damage done over there. But no uh, Xanus in the 40 bomb trucks today. Skyfall Zero, hello there. Oh, German kill. Uh, Still looking a uh, Jeopard. Yep. Ooh, all those rocket buggies. There you go. Hey, Death Kitty, how you doing?
So what could save Dutchie right now? <laughs> Not a whole lot. Ooh. It's actually, uh, you know, a little bit of a good concern because he needs to just make yeah. enough to fall really, but <clears throat> I do appreciate that he's just hanging in there. Yeah, so now absolutely. we get to see all the shit explode and, and die. And, yeah. <laughs> and don't worry, Sneak, it actually uh, caught my attention, so it's uh, done. It's okay. <laughs> and the good idea is actually taking care of the rest of the uh, insurrection mob. Yeah, Grenadiers are obviously very potent anti-infantry units. Yes, yeah, we got a sneak attack tunnel coming over there. I have no doubt that its contents will be unloading there soon. Probably. Well, GG, I think. I guess so too. With an insurrection mob over here killing whatever what was here. Yeah, now they're going for the... Uh, thing. Yep. Yeah, Axadis doesn't even need anything else. He could just move in his uh, his recyclers though. That would be really cool. Just see them in action. Yeah, that's what he's doing like at this very yep. moment. There they are. <laughs> A lot like of uh, Euro trucks. trucks deploying. <laughs> there you go. Remember the second Chinese mission in Generals? Actually no, because I never played Generals. Yeah, this is GG. Second mission and for the Chinese in general is actually where you blow up a large dam which floods the whole uh, valley. Oh, here comes another smart bomb. Yep. And another commando drop. I don't, didn't see where the smart bomb uh, went though. It actually dropped uh, on top of the quad cannons and killed I think three of them. Oh. There's still a bulldog turret over here. I don't think there's anything that she could do right now. No. Yeah. There's just too much stuff going on uh, for for Xadus at the moment. But surprisingly, he didn't go for the uh, bomb trucks. There you go. Ooh, elite rock or a uh, heroic rock rocket buggy. Nice. Nice red rocket trails. Yes. I love that. Do you know if Badisher is awake? Um, no, he appears to be away right now on Skype anyway. Okay. Well probably still sleeping. And by the yeah, way, it so seems that so Daylight so Savings has uh, has hit America. So for them it's going to be an hour later, I think, than, last, than the last week. There goes the solar plant. But for the GMT times, uh, the European time zones and the rest of the world, it's still the same and we do keep uh, the, the countdown at GMT for that reason. Because it is only one hour away from us. There you go. There's a pro oh, oh, scramble stations. And Dutchy Gamer has been defeated. Great game, guys. Great game. You have been defeated. And now that stuff is being saved for three plus one. Oh wait, that's something else. <laughs> Yeah, more, almost double uh, the resource gathering for uh, Xadis. But that's because he did go for the uh, supplies near the center of the map. And that she didn't, And I also think. cash bounty counts towards that as well. Yeah, obviously. So he got a lot for that. Should I go in for the next game? Yeah, sure. I'll just go and create a map. Bruce uh, would like to play as well, apparently. And Elia is wondering if we have enough people for two versus two. Yeah, I already said we're gonna stick with one versus one because from what I heard from okay. Xadis is that uh, even two versus twos uh, earlier this week without observers, without streams, crashed and constantly mismatched. Well, Medix is yeah, in. Yeah, well, that's situational. Yeah, it's situational, but you know, it's, it seems to be consistent for every stream, so I just like that.
So Maddox is in. And Bruce is in. Splendid. So, next map we're gonna play in is. Let me have a look see at my map pool. Natural threats. Yeah, natural threats. I shall set myself as observer because I haven't done that yet. There we go. 4v4 would be possible, but um, they couldn't commentate. Actually, we can. I've actually played several matches on stream and commentated at the same time. It's super difficult, but especially with 4 versus 4 and the stream, you know, it takes a lot more toll on my internet connection. And thus it becomes a lot less stable. And 3 versus 3 is something we don't do. And besides, I just prefer uh, one versus ones. So Bruce, please accept as Orange USA. Brucey, is he uh, Caspery? I have no idea. Yes, uh, English at all times. Ah, there he is. My game crashed. And Bruce doesn't load either. Well, he was pinging the chat. So I guess his game crashed too. Perhaps. Is the MI-28 Havoc in the game? And I think that's a Russian helicopter. Nope. That's a Russian helicopter, yes. But that'll be for 2.0, right? Yes. So that, that'll be for 2.0 as the replacement for the Hellion. Or the Hind. More or less, yes. Although yeah. it, it, it's a replacement for the Hellion, but it acts or, or functions more like a hind in, in, in okay. combat. Yes. Or at least it's oh, Bruce did load. Away. Bruce did load. So I'll commentate on this one. Uh, I'll observe this one myself. Okay. I'll go ahead and uh, watch the game from the stream then. Very well. I'll uh, notify the players that we are just going to continue this. As soon as the screen pops up, uh, I'll vote you out, we continue. Oh, but Bruce is also... Uh, no, like spikes. Okay, we're... we're uh, in. So Bruce is in the south, Medix is in the north. It's kind of hard to see purple on the, this map, to be honest, on the mini-map. But then again, I am like a smaller screen on a super large screen, so it may be because of that. Players have uh, two large supply piles in the, uh, or large supply docks in the north, or uh, close to the base, over there and over there. There's an oil derrick here in the west, there's an hospital, an hospital, a hospital. Oil derrick here, oil derrick here. And I guess that the western oil derrick is like the only non-symmetrical oil derrick on the map, with the hospital also being a non-symmetrical uh, Tech building. Bruce in, or uh, wait, medics is China, so that's uh, that's what's happened. Building a barracks right in, uh, near the center of the map, near the hospital. Uh, Bruce immediately going for uh, the supplies over here and probably over there as well. Yes, there we go. It's got two barracks out right away, and a vehicle, a uh, war factory right there. Are we going to see some dronage? Hopefully. 
Hopefully. Lex is guaranteeing some of the structures in the middle. And Bruce's Ranger killed the uh, Red Guard moving for the Western Oil Derrick. Galley tank coming out, killing some of three over here. Bruce capturing that oil derrick. And that oil derrick. <sighs> Nothing special going on just yet. No tanks, no airfield, surprisingly. Disappointingly, Bruce. Or is he going to go for his... Uh, oh, I, I recognize this. Ambulance uh, Humvee thing. Yeah. Ambulance Humvee thing. Building a drone assembly plant. As uh, Galling tanks are moving in. Big, bom big fighter bombers. Uh, Hellfire mix all the bombers, if you're talking about MIG bombers. Yeah, you have MIG fighters and MIG, uh, and the Hellfire mix indeed, as you mentioned. Yep. Body check, well, it's kind of early in the game, but, uh, there's the first air from Bruce. Medic sitting at 2700 at the moment, Bruce sitting at 2300, just to drop below a thousand. Medic's applying a lot of pressure already, early on. Dovies. And that's the last of the uh, things. Gatling tanks? Yeah, Gatling tanks, yes. Let's see. Bre breeder reactor going up for uh, Medic's right now. I do see the... Uh, Troop crawler over there. He's now moving back. The supply center. Oh, he's going for the central supplies over there. That's a Comanche, I think. No, that's a, a Blackhawk. I mean, Blackhawk. Dropping his uh, infantry inside right there. There you go. ECM tank. Oh boy. Strategy center. Oh no, that's a drone center. Bruce not being too happy that his combat drop got annihilated instantly. Yep. By the minigun team, which is now killed. No, that, it was actually a pyro that actually just... Uh, pyro? Know, set oh, the nice. entire, Yeah, the garrison on fire, at least that's what I saw on the stream. Yeah, I saw the flames there as well. I didn't really know what was there, but I did see the minigun team as well. ECM tank is severely damaged, though. Oh! Twin Fang! Tank hunters? Ooh! Shoot. Get out of there, Black Hawk. Well, if he's coming in. With an ambulance. Dropping rangers. There is... <laughs> there we go. Nice little light rush. Different tactic from Bruce over here. like it. Oh. Are they throwing grenades? Or are those the flashbangs that the um, rangers are throwing? Yeah, well the flashbangs are technically grenades as well, so... Yeah, well I'm seeing flashes, so I'm thinking it's the flashbangs. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, those are flashbangs. They just appeared on the stream. Yeah, so he's just doing that to make sure that any infantry that comes outside of that barracks is instantly flashbanged, I guess. Would make sense. Oh! And Bruce is trying to capture the barracks. 
that does Beric's has to sell it. And he did sell it. So, you can stop the flashbangs right there. Still a lot of forces over here from Bruce though. Especially with the Blackhawk that seems to have been repaired a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Surprised he didn't go for the infantry veteran scene. Oh, Dragon Tank. Well, he's going to capture Bruce, the... Bruce, that uh, is. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Bruce is getting to capture the... Uh, <coughs> Hospital. And Medic's rebuilding that uh, the barracks slightly to the back of his base though. Well, the uh, protective suits have been uh, researched. Chemical suits. Ambulance and a hospital. <laughs> Come at me, bro. There you go. Oh, Black Lotus is getting to capture the drone assembly plant. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I thought I heard something. Probably going for the War Factory next. That makes sense. Blackhawk in the air. But the Blackhawk, does it detect stealth? Dropping its payload? No, it does not. It does not. Dropping its payload. No, oh, Raptor. Yep, yeah, there you go. She's been spotted and killed. It's an internet center, not a barracks. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm confused. Ooh, flame hole in the air. <laughs> Barbecuing all the infantry down here. Wonderful. <laughs> also some Gatling tanks. Ooh, and those raptors are just getting shot to pieces by the twin fang over here. Well, the line was uh, activated by the strategy center. More Blackhawks over there, going to the uh, northeast now. While well, we're trying a little sneak attack out from over there. Now the hull has uh, reached the base down here. And it's going down. Sounds even like a little bit of an alarm. Not a drone assembly plant has been built by Bruce over there. There you go. And the original one is still captured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done absolutely Just nothing, appeared. despite the fact that there's like a razor literally next to it. But now Medix is moving forward. The Blackhawks are uh, causing some mayhem inside of Medix's base over here. I'm guessing the vanguards? Or just rangers. Yeah, vanguards. Because I see the turrets. Oh man. I remember how Bruce wrecked me with vanguards. Oh, well, look at all that stealth protection. The game is lagging because of it. <laughs> because of all those mines. Yeah. There goes the burrito reactor. Taking out a hefty amount of uh, infantry as well, I think. Now it's become a bit of a base race, and Medix was defeated. There you go. Nice match. You have been defeated. Not so much air focus from Bruce, but definitely uh, nice little combinations there. And with that, folks, I'm going to take a quick break to uh, grab something to drink. So do the same, or go to the toilet, or grab a snack. I'll be right back. Ugh. <sighs> 
There we go. Back again. <laughs> Bruce Owens with Murica. Well, technically, we have enough players for a 2v2, I think. One, two. Yeah, I, I three, think four. we could give that a shot. We'll give it a shot. Because Kanaz is in, he likes 2v2s. Chemical suits reduce damage from all hazards. Nice. Yep, that is correct. Chemical suits do indeed provide the decreased damage from radiation, toxins, and flame-based weapons, which include the thermobaric weapons used by Russia and the flame rose by China, of course. I see. It's kind of quiet on Twitch today. Only 80 viewers. Oh, Kanas is moving to Wall Street. I get it, because he's sticking you with a. <laughs> Thanos is in. <coughs> I'll set myself to observer. Really quick. <laughs> Too much for me. And there's Bruce. Right. Okay. Forgotten f uh, Freedom, I think, is a good 2v2 map. It's on the official list. Official list. Mm hmm. Let's have a look see. Own Eagle. Fallen Empire. A oh, Fallen Empire, that's what it was. I meant to say that, actually. My bad. This one. Yes. Very well. <laughs> it's difficult to understand all the factions. Yeah. And then just imagine it from me having like barely any experience at all with uh Generals, Generals coming into a mob like this. <laughs> Good ass, go Russia. I'm not even gonna say it. I mean, players are gonna play what they want to play, how they want to play. And we're not going to uh, dictate what the players should do. Usa and Gla versus Usa and Gla. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bearers are boring. What else? Sorry, Sneak, that is a mod only command. Ah, uh, Tracer is going as uh, random. Find her. Let's see. I guess it's going to be north versus south? Yep. Very well, just... There we go. Five, four, three... Only Xanus is punctuating. Bruce didn't do it. And everyone is loading. We at least have that going for us. Trench Dog seems to have a random as China. Excellent. Some variation. 
And build more four sets. One, two, three, four. There you go. Three. So we have USA and USA uh, against each other and China versus GLA against yep. each other. Bruce versus Knaus. This is going to be a very interesting setup here. Both as USA. I think it's cool that uh, Knaus is just trying on, out other factions. He starts out with two barracks right away before a power plant. And immediately moving one of his doses to the... he's going for an infantry heavy approach. Probably. And immediately going for the supplies here the in the uh, <coughs> centra north central part. While Kana or uh, Xanus is going for the one in the uh, central northern part. Just above the uh, bridge. Yeah. I'm well, seeing... It's actually kind of a wall already. Well, yeah, well, it, it stretches through the whole map. Yeah. Xad is also building a tunnel network on the opposite side of the wall and sending out an observation van. While uh, Bruce is gathering the supplies uh, from a safer ish distance over there. And is that I like the way I like the way you said that, safer ish. <laughs> oh, we've got a uh, infantry drop from the uh, thing over here. Osprey yep. from Kanas. The supply drugs attempted to crush the infantry, but they quickly Garrison, garrison that little yes. tent to avoid that from happening. There we go. Very clever. And now they're attacking Bruce uh, Osprey there. Yep. Uh, not before taking out the uh, last supply truck over here. Fire base over here by I Bruce. Just, uh, I, I <laughs> when that happened, I could just I could just hear uh, Trench Dog clenching his fist and cursing all kinds of words. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what happened. <laughs> probably. Uh, yeah. We already have a uh, little scorpion tank rush over here in uh, Crimson's base. But Bruce comes to help out with a uh, Blackhawk. Mm -hmm. So I saw that correctly. Right over there, also dropping the infantry. And driving uh, the Scorpion tanks back. Anything else going on over here? Can I ask about an airfield? Bruce, what do you have? Also an airfield. Only one? Disappointing. Ooh, well, Canas' uh, garrison is trying to take out the Blackhawk over here. And it succeeds! Uh, poor Crimson lost, already Sweet lost still. the... Crimson already lost the, uh, resor the, 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 the supply center. Middle resource are... Yeah, the, uh... Quadcat is moving in from the he's uh, tunnel He's trying there. to... And it, now he's gonna lose a dozer there as well. Yeah. Thrustock is uh, is angry, you can tell him. Pathfinding. Making the age. Well, it's not just pathfinding, it's also bad uh, judgment on his part that actually triggered that. I guess. And and obviously Xadas and Knaz are not giving him any break. No, definitely not. That was a beautiful little uh, little move though, from uh, Knaz. Well, it, it's, not, it's not even done yet, I mean they're still going at it right now. Yeah. But to be honest, it, I heard like another uh, Black Hawk got shot down. I'm not sure where. I just heard it screaming. No, that was a uh, Raptor actually that got shot down. At the okay, wall. Okay, then a Raptor may have also gotten shot down. Yeah, but that was what I was seeing actually. Or it was a, uh, a Comanche. I don't know. Well, they're not letting up. Going full force after uh, Crimson. Oh, the a viper there. A viper from Kanas actually took out a couple of hopper tanks, and now it's engaging the uh, Comanche there. Although it seems to be getting away. Yes, it got away. Yeah. Or not? Nope. Just moving back a little bit to get some. Uh, oh, it got the Comanche. Yeah, but it got shot down by the raptor. The viper. <laughs> yep. yep. And meanwhile, another raptor from uh, Kanas is coming in. Yes. 
took out a quad car or one of the Gatling tanks. Oh, that they are literally not letting up. Douchebag Nest uh, from Zen is taking on the. Uh, uh, Bruce is moving in with infantry to a a attack Knaas's main base. Knaas's main base, you're right, there you go. Accompanied by a single, uh, single Black, Black Hawk. Hawk, which may drop more infantry, I'm not sure. Maybe. Vanguards? Oh, oh he's, he's trying to capture them for intel. Oh, flashbacks. And he's dropping some more with the Black Hawk. Yes. There's a uh, Viper in the air as well. This is, a bit, this is a very cool match thus far. I'm really liking it. He managed to capture the infantry, so now he has that intel, and the Raptor just took out that Viper. Bruce's Raptor, anyway. I would actually say that this match is nuts, <laughs> how much chaos is going on right now. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And you got some CIA. Black Hawk down, not to be confused with the movie. Oh, I'm selecting the Tiger, yeah, the, the, the Viper. Sorry. Man, which again gets shut down by another Raptor. Yep, <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Crimson now moving and to the north. Canata. And Canals seems to have thwarted... Or Bruce has thwarted Canals' uh, relentless advance for a little while. In the meantime, uh, it seems that uh, Trainzak got back up on his feet and now has an uh, organized defensive of force. And now he's probably going to retake that supply dock, which he uh, rightfully belongs to. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. But there's still that little garrison over there that he's going to have to take care of. Yeah, that's no problem. The tents have very little health. Yeah, true. Well, that was some serious, like, serious combat over here. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Things seems to have calmed down now. A little bit. Well, not entirely. Uh, Bruce, Bruce is still raptors. hunting the, uh... Yeah, the Ospreys. At the moment, with his raptors. But the raptor and Knaas is now building a uh, Cyclops to, uh, in response to that, but he doesn't have the power to back it up. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, Bruce just comes in with and raptor after and, raptor. and Bruce has Yeah, a Bru a Bruce just managed to take out another one of his Ospreys. Yeah. Just coming in with Raptor after Raptor. Literally, Raptor after Raptor. There you go. Cyclops is online now. After upgrading yeah, the power no, plant. Okay, okay. The, um... French is moving in with it with his uh, little attack force and managed to take out one of uh, the tech and take out one of Xadus's tunnels. Yep, also he managed to get his uh, supplies again. Thank goodness for mm -hmm. him. Let's do a quick money check by the way. Bruce is sitting, or Canas is sitting at 18, 1900, just dropped down to 500. Trace Dog sitting at 300. He's been struggling for money, of course, this entire time. Xadus, 1500, and Bruce at 1500 as well. Gentlemen are all spending their money as soon as they get it. Yes. Bruce also having a drone assembly plant near his uh, expansion over here. Also a barracks with two yeah, fire he's, uh, bases. He's deploying some term. He's, he's deploying termite drones left and oh. right. Who are, who are we losing? We're losing Bruce. We are losing Bruce. That and would be very unfortunate if he drops yes. out now. This is one of the reasons why we don't uh, usually do two versus twos. I'm kind of against it because or at of least this. No, not, not, or at least not more than once per stream. Yeah, definitely. His computer froze. Shit. No, <laughs> we're not going to continue this as a one versus one. I don't really see how you could actually, because it's just, I just too, uh... Oh, is Bruce back? Oh! Oh, Bruce is back! Thank, thank God! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Back from, from the, the grave! grave. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Motherfuck <laughs> us! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, thank goodness! Thank Excellent! Goodness. Thank goodness. Oh... Yeah, well, I, I really mercy. would like to see this match to the end. I would really like to see this match to the end. Yes. Oh. 
Well, German Cup just took out a couple of infantry over here. I don't even know who they belong to. I'm seeing a partisan there as well, so excited with those. And, uh, meanwhile, uh, you know, um, what's his name? Prince Dog is moving towards. Uh, is is move is moving to uh, continue his his plan, his master plan, but he has to hurry because obviously Kanas now knows that he was up to that. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious, Grandma! Taking Look, out Sam the cyclo laser, uh, clever. Making sure that the path yeah, is clear. There's another one in the center of the base. Yeah, over here. Ooh, ow! Clever, clever, clever. Continuing to take out uh, the Ospreys over here in the back of the base. Now he needs to do something else, really quick. Right, meow. Go for the uh, airfield, which is probably the most clever thing to do. Also, I'm seeing mm -hmm. some rockets getting fired at the uh, detention camp. Now goes the airfield. A lot of scrap over here. That is probably just some uh, economy plate over here. Leaflet drop. Leaflet drop by Canals. Yeah, although it didn't, it wouldn't really have made much of a difference, to be honest. Oh, we've got a. Uh, a-10 airstrike from Bruce, A10 taking out the... <laughs> Tier 1, yes. Rank 2, and also an Tier Acolyte two. drop from Bruce, next to the power plants. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going all in on this one. Yes. I want to take out uh, Ganas first. Vehicle assembly depot, uh, tunnel, vehicles, vehicle maintenance tunnel, uh, directly next to the base over here from uh, Xanus. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness, this was an all-out attack. And yeah. it seems that uh, the train stock is coming in from They, they, pay, they pay the price for it, but, but if... I mean, they paid the price for it, but if you look at what's left of Kadas's base, it paid, it paid off. <laughs> yeah, Kadas like It's like a power plant. A, a power plant, a, a a supply, the, the command center, the barracks, and the detention camp, and a single Cyclops laser, that's all that's left. No, actually, now uh, he's building a power plant in uh, Xadis' base as well, so he's going to expand over there. And of course, he still has the uh, central supplies over here in the north. But I think I that... Meanwhile, uh, uh, Knaas is going to make, an, uh, or, um, is gonna make, is gonna make another two. attempt to attack. Yes, he's coming yes. in for round two. And I'm hearing C4 being placed by Burton, I guess? That is Burton, yes, although that's Bruce's Burton. Oh! Ow! Yeah, I thought it was. Where is it, by the way? Where is Br uh, Burton? Not here. Burton is uh, at the location where the power plant uh, once was, and he's now stabbing uh, all the rain. Oh, yeah, so he is visible for me then. I got it. Oh, and Bruce and uh, Kanaz is out of power right now. Ooh, rank two airstrike. And he used a carpet bomber to, yeah. to ki yeah, kill most of the uh, attack from uh, Trench Dog. Damn, this is some heavy action right here. I love it. But, 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 in comes uh, bomb trucks. Xanus had a 40 bomb he did, truck. Oh, he, he, did, he, didn't, he didn't actually see the bomb trucks in time there. Now they can all just park wherever they want to be. Yes. And they are going to park. Boom! Taking out the supply uh, and and the war factory. War factory. And the war factory. Yes. Although he probably didn't anticipate for the mines, because if he did that, oh, he another could have uh, gathered Another carpet team. bombing incoming from the uh, southwest, though. It's probably heading to uh, Xalus's yeah, base. Yeah, Bruce's, that's Bruce's carpet bomber going to Xalus's base, yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Is it using flares as well? Yeah. Oh. General's power aircraft also benefit from the countermeasure upgrade from the US, yes. Nice. That is cool. Wow, that's... This is a high-paced, high high-action match. Crimson coming in with round three, though. Ooh, what's this? Uh, that's a fighter pilot. Canals has given up. And I'm yep. going to guess that Xalas is going to follow soon. <laughs> Probably. Yes, there you go. Yep. 
Oh my goodness, what a match! Well played, match. gentlemen! <laughs> well played! <laughs> right from the get-go, it was action non-stop. <laughs> Beautiful! I'm really happy that, uh, that Bruce's connection somehow magically fixed itself and then <laughs> yes. actually got back into it. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful outstanding match. <sighs> Everyone is calling... More of the chat says! <laughs> yeah, for Genesis. Uh, do keep it uh, like... Just more is enough instead of more. I understand what you mean anyway. Up time. I've been streaming for an hour and 50 minutes ish. Yeah, so we still have quite a few matches that we could do. <laughs> ah, Trystock is happy! <laughs> We'll do a one versus one then. That was an awesome match, man. Fucking hell. That was an amazing match. Okay, giveaway, see you later, and uh, thanks for joining us. And for those that don't know it, this. This stream will be uploaded to my YouTube. Of course, also the Rise of Red's YouTube, but that'll be later. That is uh, Nightbot acting up again? Probably is. Well, it's awake. <laughs> so, what uh, we have Tracer versus Medics. Perfect. Now, let's have a look. -see. Actually, the gentleman wants a rematch. I suppose we can do that after this one then? Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Rocky Shores. It's gonna be the map. Uh, oh, I'm looking at the official maps. Rocky Shores. Ah, this one. Okay. I just have map names uh, written down here. Hey, Milstrom, how are you doing, buddy? Let's start. Punctuations, everyone. Put this, put this. Everyone is loading. Manly Russia versus Purple USA. Yes. You can just purge him, Soros, if you see that and it annoys you. You can just purge him. I did already. But uh, you can just purge him. Right. Usa versus Ruska. Um. Bierex right, being built there. Bierex? Yep. Bierex, <coughs> yes. Bierex. <laughs> Yankee Doodle Dandy. A four a four a, a four Bierex. A four ver Bierex, da. <laughs> 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 well maybe he's gonna go for topples. Who knows? Topol crew on standby. It, it, has that gotten a new voice or was that in the planning or the Topol missile launcher? Sorry? The Topol voice actor, was Topol. that gonna, was that gonna get a new voice or not? Uh, we do want to redo the set eventually, but that's likely not going to happen before the release. Okay. So that's gonna be like a patch or something, eventually? Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, I'm seeing some infantry move over here, a couple of rangers from medics. Uh, yeah, he's going to capture the uh, oil derricks here on the little island with the lighthouse.
And, oh, I'm already hearing something. Getting shot. Oh, that's just a Mishka, probably. Getting shot by a uh, sentry or guardian drone. We've got roadage! Yeah, yeah dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! So we've got Russian do Russian uh, comrades versus drownage. Yeah! <laughs> Jimmy Skidiski? <laughs> hey, Bananas of Steel, how are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Oil Derek's getting captured. Where you can hear the topple voice. Uh, you'll probably have to look up one of the older streams on YouTube where Doomy actually played using them, although I wouldn't be able to tell you which one that would be. I don't remember ever using them on stream. Did he? I don't remember them. No, 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 no. I, th I think he did it in the tutorial stream, actually. So that was sort of the introduction, so to say. Yeah, that one. The very first stream. Yes. Which was over a year ago by now, actually. Yeah. By the way, folks, this is actually the one year, uh, the mark of the one year that Rise of Threats is on my channel. And I thank everyone for supporting me, uh, supporting us, basically, but mostly my channel, of course. Because without you, I would never have reached the 816 followers that I am at currently. So, thank you so freaking much. And Bananas of Steel. I need to learn to spell correctly. There you go. There you can uh, watch the stream later today. I'll be uploading it pretty much as soon as I'm done streaming this. And uh, Crimson now also capturing the oil derrick behind his base. I used to be in an arena 2 versus 2. Oh yeah! Yeah, I remember that one. I did... I, I remember that one. I didn't use them properly, but I did use them. <laughs> so, a couple of BMPs I'm seeing, also with Tunguska. Or two. Or three, probably. I don't know. I see four Tunguskas with three BMPs. Okay. Okay, bye, destroy the CEO. Uh-oh. So Tunguskas are attempting to uh, attack that or capture that particular oil derrick, but the microwave tanks are probably going to have to say no to that. Well, if they are being preoccupied with the oncoming tanks, then... Uh, yeah, I actually expected to there to be more attack units in that group, but there's only one Guardian the drone in that entire group. The rest are basically support vehicles. The Avenger and the microwave tank yep. are essentially support vehicles. Okay. Oh! A couple Ooh. of AAT drones, drones that yeah, just I took heard. out two BMPs, yeah. I and didn't even see destroyed. them. destroyed. Well, because of all the, the clusterfuck of stuff that's going on here. Crusader tank turning in the fray as well. Fire base. And the Tunguskan missiles. Mm -hmm. Um, To um, um. firing at the Wasp drones that are currently chasing them. Wasps. Ooh. I think the wasps have been like uh, rebalanced uh, five times already, or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a very difficult unit to balance. I'll give them that. Because <clears throat> also, I didn't have something like that never even existed in the first game, so it was something that we basically yeah. had to learn how we can do this right. <laughs> Crimson pulling back now with his forces. Who controls the oil derricks? Medix still controls them. And Crimson still controls this oil derrick. Just a question. If Crimson was supposed to capture, or was like uh, going to capture one of uh, the supply drop zones, would he actually be able to use them? Yes. And if, if like, someone is playing ECA and his opponent would capture a uh, telecom tower, would he be able to use them? Or does do you actually need the telecom relay station for that as well? No, 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 no. The only thing is that you need one to build the telecom towers. Okay. Well, a lot of BMPs and uh, a couple of Tungaskas moves moving in again from the south over here. It's been a very cool stream thus far. 
I also see a couple of uh, some action here in the north, but I'm gonna switch over to here because this is where the main action is gonna go. Raptors getting shut down as they uh, take off. <laughs> nope. That's very painful. Ow. <laughs> the trench dog having a giggle over that. <laughs> he's having a giggle. Yes, he's having a giggle. <laughs> yep. Is he gonna capture the airfield or is he gonna? Oh, I see. Even Burkets have entered the field now. Very cool. Or the airspace, I should say. Barracuds are black. I don't see. Yeah, I think this one. I think I think Trenchdog is uh, <laughs> running on the adrenaline from that last game. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> He's kicking all sorts of ass right bridge. now. Okay. Now that's just a. Uh... Unfortunately, we can't show that off today. The new uh, Victor Bomber delivering, as I call it, the Wham Bram Grand Slam. Thank you, ma'am. I have to come up with something funny <laughs> for the anecdote. Yeah. And we have Sokols in the air too now. Yeah, although uh, I, I think this match is going to end very quickly. Yeah, in favor of uh, Crimson here, definitely. Of course. <laughs> uh, just like low tier units, BMPs and Guskas. Not Kodiaks at all. Although I don't well, see But the BMPs, for all intents and purposes, is actually still pretty much a tank. Yeah, that's true, true, true. It's a, it's a light tank, but still, it's, it, you can consider it to be a tank. Uh-huh, absolutely. Well, that gave... Uh, and he actually has the um, the, uh, the assault armaments upgrades on them as well, which gives them those extra Ooh. rockets, which obviously boost their firepower. And now he's coming in with... And, and now he's got Era on them as uh, well. <laughs> Era? Uh, oh, th that's the armor, yeah, right? BMPs yeah, BMPs can all... Yeah, bear, uh, BMPs can also uh, get ERA. <laughs> and he's got some BM, uh, MTP recovery vehicles there as well. As he's moving in with round th 3 again. Something got shut down over oh, here. One. Yeah, that was, uh, a, there was a termite drone that managed to shut down that Ooh, one BMP. I see it. It's right here. Nasty. And I see another anti-terror anti -terror drone, I think. Yeah, or just, don't just call the AT-AT drones for simplicity's sake. Yeah. Well, rank 2 card from Bobby coming in. Going to miss the tanks entirely. I would have actually dropped it on the tanks, but he's going for the airfield, it seems. Yes, airfield and... Yeah, he's going to kill that uh, airfield and probably that Sokol. Ah, man, that was nasty. I'm, oh, I'm hearing Burton uh, plopping down some C4. But well, there's another airfield over there, so some Sokols do have a place to land. Oh, on the War Factory. Burton is right here, I guess. Yes. Yeah, Heroic. meanwhile the uh, attack uh, with the uh, BMPs has failed because the Paladin tanks are just too much <laughs> yep. for a light tank like that to handle. Uh -huh. No worry, up, Bruce, because we are going to do a rematch of the uh, previous one on a different map. And that was awesome, man. Such an awesome stream thus far. Another War Factory going up. Yeah, although I'm slightly uh, worried about Mr. Crimson at the moment. Crimson's position right now because we have five Paladin tanks on approach, accompanied by an Avenger and a couple of drones and a single microwave tank, yes. which is a deadly force in his case right uh -huh. now. Taking out the Avenger, but not successfully. Nope. Oh, something just killed it. The Paladins are going to be extremely resilient against those Sokols because they can take out their missiles. Oh. I mean, yeah, Finally, the first Kodiak shows up. Uh, turret. Yeah, although I think it's too late yeah. at this point. Especially with the microwave tank blocking it right now. Oh my goodness, this is horrible for Princeton. It was going so well. Let's do a quick money check though. Try stock sitting at 9,000. Ooh, and he just built a uh, Sentinel. And Medics are floating at 14,000, 15,000 at the moment.
Well, I think that the Sentinel might have uh, something else to say about uh, this little assault. It's Although, the only thing that can certainly uh, pull up, push up against the Sentinels, of course, or the uh, yeah, those uh, tanks. But but those those AT drones are very deadly to a Sentinel. Yeah, I, I see that. Because the Sentinel cannot actually do a lot about AT drones. Well, Sentinel God. And that's the other one gone as well. So I'll see the air again. Yeah, but it, like I said, there's absolutely no point as those those paladins are grouped together so they all can defend each other with their laser, which means that none of those missiles will uh -huh. get through. And now he's camping out the the front of the war factory using the termite drones. Now I think this this game is definitely in the medic's pocket. Yeah. Something disabled the uh Oh, that's the war factory getting disabled. Oh, that's the by the uh, AT drone. Yes, nope. or the, not the AT drone, the termite, the termite drone. drone. Yeah. Well, someone now he's doing what he should have done a while ago. He's shock, shock troopers. troopers. That's that. Shock troopers are the best response to PDL systems because they just ignore them entirely. Not that. And they was can't be crushed by the tanks yeah. either. But that is a steal. That was for a brief moment because people actually just used to spam the word train uh, in the chat, and I was having enough of it. There you go. And once again, now we can finally beat those uh, Paladins beat those back or those uh, Paladin tanks. Yes. Back to where they came from. <laughs> and once again, the tables have turned. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you see, and, 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 and now they said, you know, now there's too few Paladins to stop the missiles from the Sokols, and now they can effectively take them out. Yes. There you go. The shock troopers definitely helped out a lot. <laughs> My goodness. Cool though. Very cool, very cool, very cool. What are these? What are these? Those are termite drones, I think. Yeah, that's a termite drone. With a wasp five, a couple of wasp fives. Yeah, but that one more factory with a termite drone is still getting blocked off. Yeah, he's sending a conscript over there now, though. Is he? I think so, yes. Good. Does anyone see Burton, by the way? No, I have not. Yeah, but that is a steal. To be honest, I have the basic rule that people need to have some common sense about how they should behave in the chat. Because what I say is, um, you know, Treat others the way you want to be treated by them. I want people to treat me properly, so I'm gonna put up rules. And I expect people to treat me properly by just behaving in the chat. And if they don't, I'm gonna have to be a douchebag and ban them. So I always ask them to read the rules that are below down the video feed. And don't do that, you know. Money check, yes. Trace dog, just over a thousand. And Medics just spent a whole bunch of money, dropped down to Almost 3k. There you go. Moving He's in with building an insane amount of wasp drug. Uh, yes. Wasp, uh, yes. Yes. Eyes, uh, to say the least. <laughs> Although his Sokol should be able to take them out with uh, little problems. Which probably is going to happen as well. Yeah. They're yeah, I just took out uh, two of them. Welcome back, Bruce. Which is still going on, by the way. I didn't like to actually expect it to last this long, to be honest. Uh, Sneak, I can answer that question for you. I can answer the question for you. Because he's asking, uh, how could you counter that EMP drone thingy outside the War Factory of Crimson? Can, how can you detect it? Uh, in Crimson's case, he needs a conscript with goggles, which you can research from the weapons bunker over here. And that gives some stealth protection. And if you put conscripts inside any unit that can uh, have Transports. Uh, transports. Also buildings. Uh, they can detect stealth. And there's also the early warning outpost, of course, yes. which also detects stealth. A second, over a very uh, long radius. A second rank to uh, carpet bombing. Uh, that's probably a VDV drop with a conscript drop coming in. Looks like it, yes. Or it is a uh, armor reserve. No, no, it's not. It's just two planes. It would have been three planes if it was the armor reserves. 
And he's going to move it in! Behind the base. Oh, but... The, the, the VDV plane got shot down, so now he's left with just the... Uh, nah, he did drop two infantry vehicles. though. He did drop a couple of infantry in there, but that's why he also put in the, yeah. the close drop, I guess. Look at that. Beautiful counter here. Really going for the uh, detention camp, I think. Looks like it, yes. Dose is attempting to crush a bunch of infantry. Uh, Vanessa, Bananas of Steel is asking, uh, what does, what exactly does the Wasp Hive do? Uh, is it, is it uh, if I may finish the question, is it like a regular sure. drones that you get from any tank, or do they do something else? Uh, they're not like the regular drones because they um, they can actually be targeted by uh, light anti-air, not by heavy anti-air. Okay. <coughs> but uh, you do not actually need to purchase them. They actually spawn with three drones when they come out of the factory, and when they get destroyed, they will slowly respawn. Okay. Well, it seems I'm going to have my answer que my question answered here in practice because uh, Crimson managed to get one of the supply drop zones. Going for the second one after he also tried to capture a whole bunch of other uh, buildings over here. My goodness. Crimson definitely got a hold. A Spectre gunship is on the way to Crimson's base. Yes. It's crossing the center now. There you go. But no uh, other playing. Guardian Angel, I think. What's a Guardian Angel? Nope, it's just a Spectre. Yeah, no, uh, I don't see the Guardian Angel actually, I'm only seeing the Spectre. Yeah, I was I was asking if it was the Guardian Angel, if that was the proper name for it, but it was. No, 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 it's a Spectre gunship. Yeah, okay, but the other plane is the Guardian Angel. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, he oh, did actually use the Guardian Angel, or he used it in his own base. Yeah, I see that. So there it is. And I'm seeing, uh... Ooh. Damn. It's a lot of damage done over here. Crimson garrisoning one of the buildings over here with uh, the remainder of his stuff. Still having the supply drop zone though. And it's now oh, getting it's destroyed. About to get blown up. Body check? Sure. Uh, oh. And that was a backfire strike which just struck his base and I think it destroyed a bunch of power plants. Yes. Here comes the grant or follow up. Yep. <laughs> Boom! A lot of a lot of follow-up is also very grand, obviously. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, goodness gracious. Well uh, Crimson currently sitting at uh, twenty seven hundred. He actually also just deployed the armor reserves in his own base to get an uh Additional nine tanks. To get a bit of an army going, I guess. Yes. Surprisingly, uh, two tanks dropped a little further. You see mm -hmm. that? I see that. I don't know why that is, because perhaps the infantry was there already at the place where the other two would go. And medic sitting I'm at 17,000. Sure. I didn't 000. actually see it happen. Me neither, but I'm just seeing the results of it at least. Crimson now making uh, some borscht sellers, finally. Getting some I don't think he'll need them, however, because he's in a very fortunate position. Like, if he were to attack right now, I don't think there's a whole lot medics could do. Yeah, especially with the lack of uh, an airfield or medics aside over here. You know? Medics definitely lost the advantage in this place. In this case. Move camera to VDV drop. VDV drop is dead. He's dead, over there. Yep. Until the next one arrives. <laughs> yep. More sentinels coming out of the uh, war factory. I also see a couple of grumbles indeed, as was mentioned by the chat. All of the reinforcements oh, vehicles the have in the meantime been occupied. Yep. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for the next match, <laughs> for the 2v2 match at least. Yeah, I didn't expect this one to last long. No. 
Perhaps we're building another war factory. But otherwise, the gentleman would obviously be able to do this uh, off screen, of course. Yeah. But I guess they just want to give out their vengeance. <laughs> I think they just also want to give a good show uh, for the audience, which I can really appreciate. Uh, Crimson building, uh, rebuilding another airfield over here. There you go. And the war factory as well. Yep. Two war factories, no less. Which means he's now up to three factories. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, three. He did lose one in the process. Got a BMP coming out. Fully upgraded. Rumble, of course, upgraded. Another VDV drop with another consequence drop. Probably gonna do the exact same thing as before. Yeah, although this time the Cyclops lasers are not responding. No. Are they offline? Yes, they are, because I don't. I see the drones offline as well. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Yeah, and, and, now, and now he's moving in with everything as well. I, th I think this is going to be the end of Maddox. Yeah, definitely. For the armor reserves and the Sentinels and the other units that he had, he's moving in. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Well, oh, rank 2 air uh, Carp bomb carpet bomb bomber. bombing on the units itself. Although, if it would, if if he could have controlled like which angle it would have come from, he would have gone in from like the way that I'm pointing, uh, mm -hmm. from if the uh, can southwest. See. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, unless you can you see can. the mouse cursor, of course. Yeah, of course you can see the mouse cursor from the southwest going to the northeast, because that was the perfect line for the carpet bombing to go. I think the VDV drop is completely destroyed though. And the yeah, there were a lot well. of units in the base, like a lot of Humvees and stuff. Yeah. Some air units as well. We still have three Sentinels knocking at the front door, however. Yep, definitely. Which are being re reinforced by Golem tanks, BMPs, and other units that are coming from the base. Oh, yeah, Golem tanks, we haven't seen those yet. Oh, lethal drop coming in. Ooh! And a Spectre. And a Spectre goes in. <laughs> Where's the uh, Guardian Angel? Not there yet. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was like just in the nick of time. And a backstrike again, backfire, backstrike, backfire. Yeah, it took out the uh, one power plant. Yep. Here come a couple of uh, BMPs and a. Uh, oh, are they unloading stuff? Nope, doesn't no? appear to be. Not yet, at least. Nope, they're not. Oh my goodness. And I now, think, uh, a Tomahawk even. <laughs> wow, they're throwing everything at each other. <laughs> yeah, Except I the think, stars. Uh, Except I the think, stars. Uh, I think he's just building a lot of tier 0 units to keep up the attack, you know, because he can quickly build those. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Traystock is really spending a lot of money. He's just below a thousand again. And yeah, but he also has, I, I think he has the uh, economy to back it up as well. I mean, yeah. he controls all the oil derricks on the map. No, 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 he doesn't. Medic still except has, except uh, for one, I believe. No, no, Medic has captured the one that uh, Crimson captured from him again. Ah, okay. But still, he controls the majority of the oil derricks on the map. Really? No, yeah. Yeah. No, he does. He controls the northern ones as well, indeed. And he has two airfields, which uh, Medi or Medics doesn't have. So he can keep on the air pressure as well. Although... Oh, Medix does have an, uh, an airfield again. I was wondering where the hell did he get his uh, 
Where is he from? What were those red dots? Uh, he's referring to the targeting reticules that the uh, missile defenders give put on a unit when they are using their laser targeting uh, mode. Oh yeah. It's like watching tennis. It goes back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Except that we're just missing the moaning every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, oh, another fall is coming in. Swiftly on. Another yes, fall coming in. Uh, another uh, conscript drop jack. with a uh, uh, armor reserve. I'm guessing. And boom. Boom. <laughs> that's low. That's gonna be low power, I think. Yeah. Yep. Ooh! Armor reserves and conscript drop in the north! Attacking from an undefended angle. Uh, it is not undefended, there is still that firebase. That one firebase. Yeah, but right? that's one firebase. They're, no. they're gonna rip true. through that with no problem at all. True. True, true. Absolutely true. And there's still more production coming in from the base itself. There's some Mista. Wait, does he not have. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have the yet. coalition. No. no, he doesn't have the coalition gun system yet. Not yet. Oh, well, indeed. Now attacking behind? with the armor reserves and the conscripts. Yep. There you go. Getting it some help from the top. Tomahawk. Ow. <laughs> I'm actually wondering. VDV drop incoming the... as well. Really I'm wondering where Maddox had all the money from to actually keep supporting th this <laughs> relentless uh, one, building of units two, to fend them off. Four, five. He has at least five, six uh, deployment zones. Maddox uh, actually just deployed some uh, infantry to uh, thwart the attack. Yep, there you go. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome! This is such an awesome match. This is an awesome stream in general. I'm just missing the Tesla tanks though. Yeah, What's the that? Tesla tanks are optional, not uh, a requirement. But it would have been so awesome! Oh, by the way, Bananas of Steel! If you like Red Alert 3, I am doing a co-op playthrough of Red Alert 3 on my channel, and we will do that tomorrow at 8pm GMT. And if you want to keep in touch and keep updated with that... You should follow my Facebook. Because that's where I post all the updates first. This another backfire. Ooh, that blew nice up. chunk of building soaking up by that strike. Yeah, strike one. I think a supply depot and two power plants. Guess so. It's a killer stream. Yeah, I know. Mustache now opening fire on the uh, oil derrick over here. And have in the meantime been upgraded with the coalition gun system. But in comes Inspector Gunship. Again. There are well, some. If all the Tunguskas, if all the Tunguskas focus on it, they might be able to kill it in time. Yes. But there are some rumbles in the base as well. Yeah, they're going to be taking it out. But I'm not sure if there's going to be enough left to actually continue that push afterwards. Yeah, no, definitely not. Especially with another leaflet drop incoming. And Paladins again. Damn. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Both of them got taken out by the Cyclops. Yeah. Funny, we both sit out at the same time. Man, this is just going both ways. 
Oh, he's gonna uh, bring the Bar the Bjerex to his opponent. I'm seeing his uh, ward trucks moving forward, so that's definitely gonna get upgraded with to the uh, field quarters. Here comes another maybe, rank maybe. two. Rank two. Uh, yep. Yeah, there you go. Carpet bombing, destroying that. Also, almost destroying the uh, oil, oil derrick. derrick. Yep. The stats continuing their bombardment. They managed to take out one of the Paladin tanks, but the other one is moving in to attack now. Yep, and I was right, field quarters, right there. Right there. Well, you should probably not drive them that far much forward, because that's going to get them killed. Yeah. But the BMP took it, it out, has though. deployed it, though. Yep. Although, it got destroyed right away. I was about yeah, you to got one conscript out. <laughs> yep. I was about to zoom in, but uh, never mind. What do we have here? Another armored reserves? Yes. Yep. Oh boy. Couple of infantry moving in to get the uh, tanks over there. Well, there's not enough at this moment uh, in terms of infantry to capture all of the vehicles. Yeah, but there's a field quarters like right next to that one building which is producing the conscript necessary to man them. Field quarters? Field quarters? Field quarters? Yeah, yep, there you go. It's like right above the I see uh, it, I see it. Let me, let me zoom firing. in on it because I don't think people have seen it properly yet. So now it's the point and it's going to produce conscripts. Uh, sorry about that, because there's more action going on over here, of course. I just wanted to show that. Comanches. Oh man, this is... This match is taking forever. Mm -hmm. but it's so, it's so action-packed. TMD moving in. TMD, yeah. TMD, that's the... The shorter Guardian. nickname for it. Yep. The something missile defender, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could call him that as well. I, I I just don't remember what the T stands for. The um, tactical missile defense. Tactical That's missile defense. Is. Yes. yes. Oh, what's this? We've got a uh, blackjack. No, no, no. Uh, blackjack Our as well. Yes. yes, but also another the infantry black, blackjack drop. Blackjack is the name uh, of the plane. But also an infantry drop from. Uh, Oh yeah, infantry drop from medics over here. Um, they just keep going at each other's throat, man. Well, it's mostly just uh, trench dog going at medics' throat, and medics somehow actually managing to fend them off, but not having the manpower to push for an attack. Yeah, another backfire. <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking out two power plants. I think that's another low power there. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Jesus Christ. Okay, guys, that is enough Dutch. That's enough Dutch. Yes, Torres, please. I'm not gonna let anyone get timed out because of this, but just keep it in English from now on, please. Yeah, I think that uh, Crimson may have the forces to actually do something this time. Going he's going, he's going to take out the command center and I think he's going to be able to succeed with what he has right now. Yeah, especially with the conscript drop there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the command center has been taken out. Taken out, yes. No helicopters from uh, Crimson though, that is literally the only thing we were missing. Oh man, it's raining man! Let's not go there. What's the most powerful unit in terms of firepower? Pandora. Pandora. Hands down? <laughs> yeah. Topo in? Nah. Oh 
Oh, what is building? Another barracks over there. Jesus Christ, a right. pogo stick. More of the staffs coming in as well. And now he's just focusing on the more tier zero units indeed. And he has managed to take out one of the Cyclops lasers as well. Oh. Now, I think I think this is the turning point now. Yeah. Stars going crazy on the Paladin. Boom. The Russian Frogfoot Bomber, is that in the game? I don't think so. No, this actually used to be a unit in the, uh, for quite a long time, but we decided to scrap it in favor of, uh, of, of, uh, of the gameplay element that... Actually, no, that's not the right way to say it. It, it. it was actually affecting the gameplay of Russia in a bad way, so we decided to remove that unit, and in its place instead at some point came the Sokol, which itself was not really intended to be a replacement, but it's perceived as such, but now... Yeah. It's being used effectively. Yeah, Crimson is on the roll. Yeah, although he doesn't have anything to oppose those uh, Comanches with right now. No, no, no. Oh, look at how that missile went! <laughs> and it actually ran out of fuel and it's now crashing down. Oh, I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> yes, missiles can run out of fuel if they have to. They travel long enough. Okay. And then they just fall down because, you know, gravity is a bitch, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We didn't see Burkett's coming in. Burkett's coming in to save the day. Yep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. This is crazy. The uh, problem, however, is I don't think... Either is going to get anything to... To, no. to press on his attack. No, he needs to like, you know, he is continuously building stuff, and now he's just focusing on the Tangaskas. I sense a foe app. Is that time again? Is it that time again? No, 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 not yet. Not yet, eh? But the, the big question here is, does Maddox actually still have dozers? Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he does. At least one. Over there, yeah. Building a uh, protector. No, nope, cyclops laser. Oh, chaparral. We haven't seen that one either. Punk. I think that was a, a massive so airdrop being uh, dropped near the oil, the derrick, the oil well, Spotted. I should say. But again, just conscript drop and uh, armor reserves. Not the yeah, full nine yards. Yeah, there was a drop am amongst them, actually. Really? Oh, yep. the whole nine yards. Are we going to do that 2v2? I don't think we're going to have time for that, I'm sorry. Nope. Next week. Next if week, I indeed. If I can stream next week, definitely. Although I will not be able to join the stream next week. Okay, so that's going to be at 3pm uh, GMT then. Yes, I think we should do it that way, yes. Very well. Here we go. The American plays a self tight pack wall. Yeah, what do you expect? Crimson just keeps on applying a lot of pressure on him. The oil well, you can capture it and then you can uh, repair it and then it'll be you, yours. Stuff just getting just destroyed here. Press two for full lap. <laughs> does he still have a dozer, by the way, Maddox? I'm not sure if he does. Yeah, he does. He oh, does. yeah, he does. He's, uh, building a, he's, uh, he's now building a new command, command center. center in the north. Yeah. About to say because if he doesn't have, you know, you need the command center to have access to your general's powers. If he doesn't have that, he's it's a severe disadvantage, obviously. Yeah. Not with the other tech structures, indeed. In come more Mistas. If the Mistas could take out that Doge, then uh, then uh, then it's the GG. Would be boned. Yeah, it's definitely GG. boned. 
And I think that's exactly what Crimson is... No, not doing. Sokol's taking out the Comanche. Careful for the Chaparral then. We've got an... Oh, we've got another... Uh, thing in the air. Damn it, what's the thing called again? We had a... We did Spectre. A Spectre gunship, yeah. And... And a carpet bomber. Carpet bombing tier 2 again. Taking out both airfields! Splendid! And there goes the Spectre gunship. But again, Crimson isn't able to fully break through here. It's also partially due to the fact that he's using a lot of tier 0 units and no helicopters yep. of his own. Crimson is done? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Maddox is just rebuilding everything at this point. Yep. Oh, what's this? Acolyte. Leaflet drop. Leaflet drop and uh, commander oh, oh, drop. Rank one. Uh, rank one uh, special forces drop. Yes. Special forces. Yeah. And we've got a TND in the air. Bombardment being activated. More Comanches. Those are still alive. Go after that. And we've got another consequent drop incoming. As the command center is going down. Need some help here. <laughs> Damn. Follow up coming in. Follow coming in, yep. On the command center, I think. We're close to it, yep. Airfield. Boom. My goodness, it's still not over. Nope. <laughs> oh, he has a war factory all the way in the southwest. And in the north northwest. Oh. Grumbles. You demand the trouble. Cut. And I meant that you shut up. No backseating. Tremor is up, dog. Tremor isn't up. I don't see it. Do you see it? Uh, no. I don't see it going up anywhere either, no. No, he's just rebuilding two airfields, though. We haven't seen a nuke from Russia, true, because we haven't had the topol the topols and the missile silos. He just didn't go for that one. And I don't think he's in any position to do that anymore either. The looking at he went for rank three VDV drop, he went for uh follow up uh infantry drops and the armor reserves. A backfire strike as well. Backfire rank one backfire. La 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 la, now what? <laughs> <laughs> Maddox. And the air, and of course he went for the uh, air the air superiority, the uh, air yep. fields. Air, air fields, yes. So he, he, I don't think he has the uh, the general points left. Body check, train stock sitting at three thousand at the moment. Maddox is pretty much yeah, broke. Although uh, train stock could be producing a lot more money if he had more. Uh, arms suppliers, because he only think I only think he has six in the industrial plant. He doesn't have anywhere any any of them parked outside anywhere. No, surprise, surprise, surprise. He does not. 
Oh, I do, do, do. Check the northeast. Check, uh, check the northwest. I'm seeing a little graph, a little bug here, from uh, Crimson's uh, call script. You see that in the island? Pathfinding bug, I guess. Yeah, that's a pathfinding bug. There's unfortunately nothing I can do about that. Sorry about that. What is going on here? What is going on here? People saying like you don't want to get hurt. Can't believe your same player can use the microphone stick. Supply drop that. That's oh yeah, that's a little glitch that the original game had. Uh, yes, that is still possible to do. Okay, and you can actually get banned from that. If you use that glitch? If you use that in a tournament uh, from zero hour, yes. Okay. It's, ba it's basically a, a little exploit that you can use to get money quicker from the supply drop zones. Using microwaves? Yes. Uh. And for sake of not actually, you know, share making it known to everybody who's going to watch this stream, I do not want to tell how it's more done. I think that's for the best. Not a sensible has joined the field as well. We've got another rank 2 air uh, carpet bombing coming in. And a Spectre. And another Spectre, yes. Jesus Christ. Although there's so many grumbles in the air that the Spectre just got token out before it even finished his run. Before it finished his first circle. Yeah. Yep. More Sentinels. Always need more Sentinels. Another special forces drop coming in, and thank you, USA Bruce, for the follow. I thought you already did follow me. Another leaflet drop coming in as well. Guys, just come on, finish it off already. It's already like past the uh, the two-hour mark. Another TMD and another uh, post drop. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. I know that Twitch occasionally does that. Question from the Webion about the ECA nerf gas mechanics. Why they don't kill emplacement weapons like stinger sights and stuff like the Antrax do? I think they do actually. They do. If not, then I'm going to have balance. to double check that. Thoros answers balance. Oh, well, we've got another uh, VDV drop and another. What's no? That's not a VDV drop. That's just a uh, another uh, armor, reserves. Arm armor reserves. Yes. Trench dog just captured the burning oil well. He did. Yes, he did. That's actually called a burning oil well at the moment. Well, now we're going to uh, put some infantry inside of the armor reserves. Hey, Alster! I didn't see you there, buddy. Start firing at the uh, strategy center. And Burton is back. I haven't yes. seen him in a while, although he is getting spotted. And getting shot to and pieces got, by the warden missiles. Got, yep, he got murdered by the sentinel. Yep. That's why the center isn't gonna stand longer. What's the effect of the Avengers blue laser on ground units? Any unit that is targeted by that laser, uh, a friendly units will gain a rate of fire bonus when they are firing on the same target. Just like the Bloodhound and the Russian target. Not a fall of incoming! Yep. On power plants. 
and the, the detention camp also doing some damage to the war factory over here hey, and blowing up the oil derrick and blowing up the oil derrick there's still a dozer alive though two dozers at the moment there's also a command center still in about so you can just build new ones but yep <laughs> i would like to say that this is probably the end the yeah, ending if of it, moves in I, have, this, uh, I have been proven wrong before <laughs> yes the russian t-80r is it in the game nope and then that unit has since been scrapped for something a lot more interesting. Not a backfire. Boom. Low power? Maybe? No? No. Nope. No low power yet. Still has enough power plants to go around. There we go. Firing all the command center. Sentinels moving in for the south. As the strategy center is trying to be built up again. Uh, this should be the final push, I hope. I hope so as well. Yes, because do you still need to do a lot for cooking? What else? Uh, no, not, not really much, but uh, I'll be having, I will have ample amount of time to do that if it ends like in the next uh, five minutes. Perfect. Oh my goodness. What a match, what a match, what a match. It's been going on for almost an hour. Yeah, 25 Oh! Uh, Magnus, uh, microwave tank. Minutes. Microwave tank. It doesn't survive, but yeah, otherwise I it could have missed, do some serious damage to the consequence drop over there. I think it already did do some serious damage, like you can see all the healing icons above them right now. Yeah. But the command center has been token out and there is no opposition left to... Dozer has been destroyed uh, here as well. I think the Dozer here... Yeah, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing left for medics to, to oppose nope. uh, this final push. With it. so this is the end. This is definitely the end. I, I, can, say, I can say that with fair, a fair amount of certainty now. Oh, the skull scripts. I see them burst in blood. Explode in blood. And guts. Bloody burning chunks. Yes. This is definitely Got another here. microwave tank to do the uh, do the same thing over again. Yep. Ooh. 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 I think he killed all the gun stretches now. Yeah, he did. He did. But doesn't matter. There's a there's enough vehicles left to uh, take care of the strikers that remain. Uh -huh. They have. This, this, wow, wow, just, just wow. Yeah. And what's this? Acolyte drop? No, that's just a, uh, for that one. Okay. Not a supply drop. Yeah, for that, for that one. It was hiding behind the building from this angle. Actually, it's not a real weapon, but the, uh, the targeting satellite for the Russians is also a space-based kind of thing. That's not an actual weapon. Wow, what a match, folks. 55 and a half minutes. Yes. You have been defeated. My goodness, what a slog. What a slog, yes. <laughs> yeah, slugfest for sure. My goodness. Oh, the uh, amount of supplies collected. It was not off by that much, though. Less than 20k. But I'm still, still waiting in the game over screen uh, until I can actually see that. That was a massive GG, indeed. Well, folks, that is going to be it for us this week. Next week, we will start an hour later at 3 p.m. GMT. I just got to remember that myself. And actually mention it in my vlog, because in the last vlog, when I recorded it, I forgot that we already talked about this week. <laughs> and thus I said, like, we'll see whatever happens. So I was kind of, like, stupid. But anyway... 3 p.m. GMT next week. Uh, keep your eyes out on my Facebook. Keep your eyes out on my YouTube. Keep your eyes out on my Twitter. And if you want, my Steam group.
I thank you all for watching. My name is Hector Doomhammer. I felt the YouTube command. I totally did. There you go. You boob. <laughs> yes. Sorry about that. And uh, I thank you all for watching. Hunter. Uh, no Red Evan. No. No links. No links. Sorry. Hunter, thanks for joining me. Uh, I guess I'll see you in yes. two weeks. Yeah, I'll see you in two. Uh, I'll see you in two weeks on another stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we will see you all next time. Do remember that tomorrow at eight PM GMT, Red Alert Three co-op campaign campaign with Shadowy, the Allied campaign. I'm Hector Doomhammer. See you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>